guys and welcome back to my channel. I am continuing my uh, foundation page series using the Simple Stories, Carpe Diem, Good Vibes, here's the sticker sheet, and last but not least, the smooth paper, uh, uh, the cardstock from Oh Happy Day. So if you've missed my kit share, it's in a previous uh, video, go ahead and um, subscribe and you can look through the, some of the videos in this series. Um, I will hopefully um, be making a playlist if that helps as well. So now I'm just fumbling through here and because it's been a few days since my kit share and when I've actually played with these papers, I'm kind of showing you the paper selection, but I'm also familiarizing, re-familiarizing myself with the papers. So now I think here I am going to bring some of the scraps that I've had in this kit because I have played with it before, but there are still lots left. I love that pink, that flimsy pink square that I'm going to use at some point, but not in today's video. So here's again, familiarizing myself with all of these little scraps. My favorite jumping off point for foundation pages, 100% of the time is scraps. <laughs> um, this is where I go to. And as a result of creating, you know, more and more pages, I start to develop more scraps. I'm using scraps, but also making scraps. So um, here, more scraps, more scraps, <laughs> and we continue. So I haven't even gotten to contemplating. I'm just looking, re-looking at all of my stash. Oh, look at that beautiful floral. Do you just not love it? I love that color scheme, those pinks and corals and light blues and teals and with the black it just i don't know there's something something about this that just i just love i love so much just the pigmented colors so these are some larger cut aparts that i have already cut out from the paper pad i did not cut any of the smaller ones because this kit, if you remember from the kit share, was ginormous with the number of cut apart sheets. Not touching them until it's time to get down to business of embellishing and um, just adding journaling spots to once the papers have been selected. So here I'm off camera. I think I'm going off to find some um, some uh, cardstock, which I like to use in my layouts. Uh, I keep them in these record sleeves really fairly close by. I'm gonna pick, this is the uh, Basil cardstock in white. And I'm gonna start to try to pick out my papers here. Uh, I'm, I'm desperately trying to use this pink square. And oh, that floral again. This is the full. This this is like I think the largest piece of the floral. I have some other, some smaller ones. Um, and um, so part of my struggles in follow up videos, you'll see that I am doing a lot of the cutting uh, off to the side and just fumbling around off to the side, but mostly doing cutting and, and doing some of the selection. But a lot of the issues that I was having <laughs> with my trimmer, um, I don't think it was in this video. It might've been in some follow-up videos or I may have cut it out of this one. I was having like major issues. Nothing was lining up because I had to reconfigure how I was kind of organizing my desk for the purposes of filming this. I was cutting on like a stack of papers, which is, I will tell you, don't do that because I learned from me that it was awful. So I struggled quite a bit. So here I am liking the pink polka dots with this paper and I am, I am auditioning it and I'm happy dancing because I like it. Um, but I'm telling you, okay, there's the pink is in the um, the flower paper. 
but I'm I need something it's it's missing something else I'm trying to pull one of the other colors from that um, floral paper into the top that's my idea right now and nothing's working for me so far <laughs> And I'm gonna keep trying this for guys. Can you imagine how slow this this was? Uh, this is sped up. I think, I think times two, maybe times four. I'm a slow scrapper. So here I'm continuing to audition. Keep on going. I really like that yellow. And then I was like, oh wait, wait. I'm gonna shift the pink down. Yes. Yes, you know when you just, something speaks to you and it's like, that's the right thing. That, that looks great. Okay, so now here is where um, I'm gonna start to cut. <laughs> and trust me, there's, there is, there is, it's definitely not just me. I've done it in flat surfaces, so I'm just telling you I'm going to cut that little hanging little piece of paper off. I'm going to keep the majority of that larger piece of paper intact, um, the, and I'm going to do the same thing here. And so, yeah, I'm cutting all off on the side. I changed that up in follow-up videos and really noticed quite a bit of difference, except for... Um, for a couple of tries and um I've now I'm like oh wait before I cut I should make sure that this is a full sheet which side is a full sh is a full size you know 12 inches because I've done that before <laughs> um so measure twice and cut once right <laughs> so here we go here's my uh, I'm just adhering this bottom piece with my ATG and, and there we go it looks good so now you the majority of you would probably adhere that large piece of paper right to your cardstock not me I struggle struggle so much with these little strips that I am adhering the larger cardstock of that part of pattern paper to the smaller strip first and I'm telling you I'm not putting adhesive all the way at the end because I may want to tuck later on so I need that little room up there to be able to tuck and I can always glue it down later so yes I like that it's looking good